Hey guys, almost addicted here, and today I'm doing a bit of a different video. It's a block for block tutorial, uh, but it's on like an ultimate survival house or like just an epic survival house. But it can also be maybe a church because it kind of looks like a church, but I kind of wanted to make it um, so people could use it for any sort of thing. You could even use it for maybe a blacksmith's or something like that. Um, it's in kind of a medieval style, but at the same time, you could probably get away with it on a mountain or maybe um, just on a cliffside or something like that. So without further ado, let's build this. Slap a huge like on this video. It took me a very, very long time to make it. So uh, without further ado, let's do this. Right, guys, so let's build this. It'll fit in a 35 by 66 area. And um, I've already put a template kind of thing out that I want for the top towers. I have no clue what it's going to look like. What you can do is you can either use the birch or you can use just pure um, birch planks um, instead of putting those bits in to save on resources. But to be honest, it's going to be huge ultimate survival house where um, we're going to be using lots of resources anyway. So uh, it's entirely up to you. Um, so we're going to start in here and um, I think I'm best to count here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then up by one, two, three. On the fourth one, two to the side, to the left hand side. This is gonna be the front of the building. Um, this is gonna be our main entrance into the building. That's gonna be the back of the building. It's got two sideways to get into it. And uh, yeah, we're gonna go with the flow of it, I guess. Um, so that's two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19. And then at the front here, we're going to grab our birch. So we're going to count one, two, three on the fourth one. One, two, three on the fourth one. So that's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Three in the ground for now. Same here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Dig it out and count three in the ground. That's just for placement markers so I know where I'm at. Um, so yeah, it's going to be, um, I don't know going to be quite extravagant maybe it's going to be big simple but it's going to have some cool features i guess and now from this point we're going to count one two three and we're going to put three at the side of it like this and make kind of a block there and we're going to count another three and then we're going to do the same so three by three another three three by three square another three three by three square and you guessed it another three three by three square and then we count one, two, three, four. And we're gonna do exactly the same. So we'll go back to the front facing this way. Exactly what we've done there, we're doing it here. So we're gonna start off with our free square, making sure you've got a funny corner like that. So I'll go up in the air, make sure you've got that correct. And then one, two, three, I'll just do it like this. So it's a, a bit easier, just copying the same. So one, two, three, and then you've got your three by three squares. One, two, three, three by three squares. And I'll go up in the air so you can kind of see a little bit better what we are doing. And one, two, three, four. And then we're going to connect this together like this. So up in the air, you should have one, two, three, four, five of those square things. And we've got our front entrance. And then we're going to work on the back. And um, so, yeah, we'll turn this way. We're at the back now. We're going to count. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. Same here. 18 all the way back. Like that. And then we're going to count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. And we should have another little square like that. And these are going to be kind of like chimney things because I did a build like um, this. I'm wanting to do like those chimneys I did on the side there. I don't know if I can zoom in with a little bit of thing. Something a bit like that or something like that, you know. Something cool just to make it kind of stand out. I kind of like uh, the feature. So we're at the back, obviously. We're going to count one, two, three. On the fourth one, we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, and then two in the ground. And we're going to have a space. These are spacement block, a pace bit blocks to just split it up we're not placing these ones one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven on the 12th one we're going to count one two three four five two in the ground like that i can remove these ones ready uh, exactly the same at this side so we're going to go to this side do exactly the same so one two three four one two three four five two in the ground 
and then we've got the same spacing so it's level with that one one two three four five one two in the ground and uh, we've got the basic foundations down and um, so I think I'm gonna start from the front I'm gonna do this box later and yeah we're gonna kind of go with the flow of it so I'm thinking this is what we're gonna do right in each column we just pull this all the way across we're gonna be removing some blocks from this bit to find our doorway into the area and um, go like this as well fill all this in so this block right here is just going to be filled all in with the birch I'm going to use a little bit of world edit and I'm going to have to speed some of these processes up slash slash set five over three no over four over I don't know five it'll be over two or something over two <laughs> typical right so we've got that and then we can count these ones one two three like this then did three very nice and then we're going to go up again bring these up to here up to this point so we've still got those three there like that and then uh, yeah we can kind of make um, I'm wanting to dig it into the ground but we're going to use some of the birch stairs just so we can kind of get up onto this bit so birch stair there and birch stairs going all the way along here but stair there and then um, for this bit you can actually put another stair there if you would like instead of the block I guess that would work as well and then across this floor we can kind of take this out I'm actually have to turn my volume down and um, so it doesn't come through the microphone like that so we've got something a little bit like that it's a like grand entrance kind of area and then we're gonna find the very center I'm gonna take out three blocks I think a three doorway like that would be perfectly fine and then yeah in fact we'll do four like this and then we'll place two spruce so sorry for remove some blocks but I'm kind of freestyling this anyway so uh, deal with it mate and um, I'm gonna so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine for a good measure we'll go up nine high all the way across here bring this up and we're gonna have a roof going over this one so we've got that going up and doorway here that's one two three four five high maybe something like that we can kind of fill it in and then these bits on top of here we might as well fill this all the way to the top so it kind of fills in I'm trying to figure out where we could maybe put some windows and um, if we could put window here so at the side here we'll just place these up first of all because we're not gonna have a window there and um, maybe a two window and another two window so we'll go up at this point here and we'll go up at this point here and we can have some rather large windows maybe but what we can do is put this at the top this at the top here as well so we've kind of got a nice little window area and then we can fill those in with the glass I'm going to be using the glass panes for this little area so fill these in with the glass panes ready and uh, we're ready to rumble hopefully this looks um, good I kind of wanted to do it on a big scale but kind of simplistic but at the same time looks fairly uh, detailed like it's got some some character to the build um, let's get that. but hopefully everybody is doing okay today doing lovely um, now for this bit here I'm gonna bring this all the way to this right we're gonna end it just before that block because that's gonna be a block in itself so just so I kind of know so we're gonna bring this all the way across and then all the way across here as well as you can see we've got the kind of the square on its own so we're not affecting that square just yet because that's gonna have one of these towers on so this going all the way across as well like this like that now what we're gonna do you see these pillars here I'll just do the one of them and I'm gonna world edit the rest of them as you can see I'm gonna be covering up the windows so what you can do on the inside you can kind of just leave that little bit but at the same time I just I kind of want to just cover it all the way up 
So this is going to be covering all the way up and it's just going to be going over the top here like this. So I'll just fill this in. So wherever we have got these squares on the ground, it's going to be up to the same height and then one higher. Just like that. So this will all be filled in like this. Uh, if you want to make a hollow bit in the middle, because you're not going to really see that area, you can do that. You'll save on resources that way. And let me just change the time real quick. Slash slash time set 1000 and definitely slap a like on the video I really do appreciate it does help me out loads but as you can see we've got that there so what we can do is we can turn that into one window but if you don't mind a little bit of stone there you can just leave it um, but I'll just show you what it looks like with the one window so you've got the one window there instead and um, so it doesn't go into there or you can keep it like I've done there I'm gonna do I'm gonna keep it with the two window um, just because it'll look like everybody else's I guess right so I'll uh, do this side as well this is gonna be exactly the same just bringing it up and then we're gonna do that one 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 all the same apart from this one we're gonna leave that one to last and um, so I'm gonna bring up these walls now so it should look like that just one higher and um, I'm just gonna keep doing it so uh, hopefully with world edit if you've got world edit you can just go like this and then you can go get that corner there that corner there slash slash set stone brick and then there you go so it looked like that so i'm going to speed this little bit up and uh, get them all done ready and then we can work on like these inner bits yeah okay once we've done that those should be all raised up and now we can kind of go in and do the windows so Windows are going to be like this. Let's go down. Right, so we've got one there, and I think height wise, we should do the windows maybe about four high and leave the rest like that. So it'd be one across there, and then one, two, three, four height of the windows. And then either side of the windows, we can go like this with our um, trap doors, like that. And then at the top of it, put some spruce bottom spruce like that we've got a nice little trap door there and I'm gonna repeat that for this one this one and this one and same on the other side and then for this little bit here we can just fill it all in blank so this is the back of the building fill this in blank and then what we've done with the other window for the rest of them and we can fill them in so there should be one two three four like that so I'll speed this process up okay so as you can see I've got the front and the back and someone commented before I keep saying as you can see I can't help it mate it's uh, just it's like a natural thing that comes to me and um, but I'll try to stop saying it for you if that's all right because it bugs me as well but it's just like a natural it's a natural reaction I guess um, right so I'm gonna put this across here like this because reminding people that they can see it tells them that if they use the brain I don't have to explain everything they can just watch and be like oh that's what he did and um, but when you're doing a tutorial uh, you have to explain things like you, you put it here as you can see instead of like just doing it and then people will be like what did you do with this bit and then I have to explain if you get me and um, so we've done that and then we're on to this bit here. So we'll fill it in over the top here, like this. Go all the way to the edge. In fact, at this bit where we've got the square bit, just end it there, but on the other side, end it by one, just before we end up doing it fully. Um, because I'm gonna do that after, and it's gonna kinda join in, and then we're gonna have that on top, and then I'm gonna have another one on the top here, so. I'm going to have to try and figure it out. So I've got this going like this. And as you cannot see, <laughs> see, do you know what I mean? It's natural. Um, go over to here as one would do. And then I'm going to go over the top here. And then basically what we're going to do is... Um, we're just going to keep bringing this roof up until these roofs meet at the top. 
Now, I don't know how to do this bit because what I would really do is I would build the roof completely and then remove the blocks after. But obviously, because it's a tutorial, people would hate me. But if I give you guys, um, I don't know, like um, watch it first. If you watch this bit first before you pause the video and then end up building it and then having to remove blocks, then um, I think that would work out way better. Um, because you can see what I've done and then you can choose to place the blocks and remove them after. Or you can wait, see how it's done and then do it after. Um, but what I'm going to do for this bit, usually I would put stairs underneath. Now I'm not going to because I, I kind of want to see how it would make the build look. If you know what I mean. Um, by just leaving them out instead of putting stairs underneath. And then I'll put the stairs on after and see the difference. But I kind of want to do that to make it a little bit more um, simplistic. So I'll just keep doing this until these reach the top. Hopefully I'm explaining it okay. And we're going to go like that and I'm going to flick at the top as I usually do like that. So we've got that, that's going down, and then what I'm wanting to do at these little bits, I'm kind of wanting to have at least a little kind of thing running across here, just to cut it up from, as you can see, we've got our wall panels, because they're going to go a lot higher. Um, I just feel, just doing something like that, we could probably put it around the edges like this, if we could go maybe underneath and just start putting um, another colour stairs underneath but I don't know if that would work but like this sort of thing I'll just change the time uh, there we go like underneath like this underneath in a different colour might not work but I guess we could overhang it a little bit more you know something like that and then could we overhang a little extra like this it's just underneath and me this is what I mean like don't build first because some if I remove some blocks you're gonna be angry but you, you get the idea you can choose to do that if you'd like but I'm just gonna keep that just simple so it's just one below or you can put it on the same level like that don't really make much of a difference I might put it one lower just so it kind of connects a little bit better so bring this all the way across here just ends there as you can see it just divides it up instead of it looking all stony stone like and um, so with this bit here I'm gonna use a little bit of world edit cheat or trick even we can go across like this and across like this I'll show you a cool world edit trick that you can do obviously I'm not building this I'm just showing you the the design I get a lot of people going well you're cheating no I'm not cheating I'm teaching you how to build the build I'm not it's like I don't I don't want to build this like I would I, I'm not going out of my way because I want to build this I'm building it because I think other people might en enjoy it Um. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirty, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nine, nine, eight, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four, twenty five, twenty six, twenty seven, twenty eight, twenty nine, thirty. Right, okay. So I've got my number. Click there. Right uh, left click and then right click for the top bit here. And then slash slash stack. I think thirty to the left because we want the stairs to go to the left like that boom there we go see what I mean it just fills in the roof I've only just kind of learned this and this will be to the right now so it'll be 30 and then right or you could just put east but it depends on where your compass is where which direction you're facing so I just do right and left it's just a bit more easy and um, now I'm going to put some slabs across the top so if you haven't done it you haven't got world edit pause the video um, until you get it and then you can put this going across the top and make sure you're at this stage so hopefully you're at this stage uh, you've paused the video you've come back and what I'm gonna do here for this bit here which is the front of the building I'm just gonna 
stack it up and fill it all in plain. Um, because I'm going to have another roof, which is our main entrance into the place that's going to kind of join onto this. So maybe there might not be some windows here, but maybe there might be. I might remove some blocks just to annoy a few people. Um, but as I say, watch it first before you place blocks and then uh, then you're not placing blocks and then if I do remove them I've got a bit more freedom to be able to because at the end of the day I want to I want to make the build the best possible um, it can be you know so I'm gonna bring this up here just at the side of the windows I'm gonna go one higher than the window like that so one two three four five six seven eight high and then I'm gonna do another one here just before um, the stair that we did like that just before you go down the stairs another one here and then bring this across and then I'm gonna have another roof from this point here and um, let's see what work out best let's try something like this keep it nice and simple so now we can get our stone bricks we can go like this Stone brick here, making sure you're overlapping by one. And then, um, yeah, I'll just do that stack thing again, I think. So I'll go like this and bring them up until they meet at the middle, and then I can stack it. Stack it nice and good. But yeah, you could probably turn this into a church. Because that's what I'm kind of rev rev basing it off like resembling it off but I think it would be a cool survival house um, that you could turn into a survival house thing maybe even a blacksmith because of all the kind of smoke chimneys and stuff so put that up like that and then I'm gonna take these out because I think it might might look alright might look alright with those little jaggedy bits from a distance even but if not you guys know what to do. You put these stairs underneath, it just makes the roof a little bit better. Uh, so, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So, it's going to be eight here. So, there and there. Ash, ash, ack, to the left by eight. So, eight left. Perfect. Uh, do the same here. So, I will put my stairs on like this and then stack to the right this time by eight right love that world edit command so it makes things easy um, now this I want it to go to the middle and then we just have one gap in between each thing just as kind of like um, these are like little pillars kind of holding it up pillar supports and um, I'm going to keep it fairly basic, but what I'm wanting to do here is kind of go one, two, one, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, and then get some of this. So it's kind of like a bit of a railing, I guess. Going across like that. Better, better nice, better nice. But if you would like, you can kind of have it jagged down and stuff like that and carry on the railing but I think something like that would be perfectly fine I'm gonna get some bushes around that area as well you could do something like that as well but I'm gonna have bushes at the side there so it's gonna it's gonna hide that a little bit nicely and um, then in here one 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 in fact we could do two gaps maybe two 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 like this oh no we might as well just do one 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 like that and it's going across here so if you want to fill it in completely i'm going to sneeze oh no oh my god sorry i'm all right i don't usually uh, say say that when i sneeze but uh well he learns something new every day um so you can put a hole in here and then you could fill in that floorboard completely and turn these into windows and you, you get the idea you've got an extra room then um, let's see so we've got our doorway into the place 
Let's do something like this. You could just turn it into a one doorway like that. Or something like that. Just something nice and simple, you know? Simply does it. Something like this, and then this going around. And then if you would like, you can put some of these. I'm just kind of messing around with different ideas. So you, you, you get the idea. Something like that. So like a little entrance. Like this. Nice and simple. Maybe you can even put a, a little window there. Maybe some windows at the top. Just to decorate it. Just to make it look a little bit more busy. Um, let's change the time again. So we've got that bit done. Which is looking alright. And then hmm, I'm trying to think what would be best. I'm going to obviously fill these bits in so it's fully done. I don't know why I missed those out. I think it's something to do with that roof joining into there, but oh well. So we've got that bit done there, and then let's work on this bigger patch up here. Um, so now, now we can take this, and what we're going to do is we're going to go like this. I'm wanting it roughly to be in line here, I think. This would fit perfect. So you know the height of it, it's just one below the very thingy one, whatever, I don't know. Like that. I'm gonna have to take a few breaks in this, I think. Get myself a coffee, so I'll just liven myself up because these longer ones, they, um, when I'm talking this long, I end up going, uh, and it's, I don't know. It might be soothing, it might be rather soothing. This guy's about to pass out in a minute. Right. Bring this up. So you've got the height because of that. So hopefully I don't need to count that for you. So, yeah. Um, as I said, we're going to be removing some from this roof. Now, I'm going to do this last. So you can decide if you like it. You decide if you want it. Um, let's see, um, I, I kind of want to keep this fairly plain, so I, I tell you what, I'm going to do this, just fill in this whole wall, we're going to be removing some blocks, but not loads, 5-2 wasn't it, right, so we've got that filled in, we're just filling in this big square, this big square thing, just fill it all in. Apart from on the inside, I guess we can keep some of that open. So we've got that all perfectly done. And then on the inside here, I guess we could fill up to this bit. So that bit's filled in. Obviously, we're going to have a doorway in here. If you don't like that bit and you want to get rid of it now, you can. But if you want wanting to have walls... You can keep that. Depends what kind of entrances you want. Like here's an example. We're directly in the middle. Just remove five altogether. And then count one, two, three. One, two, three, four. Diagonal by one like this. And then the rest of them. You can put some windows in there I guess. Just fill it up like this. And then you could get some stairs or something like that and have like a grand archway. So stair there, stair there. You've got like a, a cool archway thing. And then you can fill the rest in. Or you can decide to um, have windows there as well. But it's entirely up to you. I think I'm just going to keep it plain for now. Because I'm not going to do the interior. Um, I'll be honest with you. And then... See this bit here that we've done here, we can bring this up because this is part of the um, our new roofing. Let's do it over the top like we've done with the rest of them. But obviously this one's a bit different, a bit higher. And you can always take out bits in the wall. So I'll give you an example. So instead of keeping it plain, you can have it going up the wall. Maybe you can put furnaces in there and um, just have it going up like that so it kind of Add something different to the design. Like that. Something like that, you know. And then from the outside, do exactly the same. 
I'm gonna go like this and um, slash I set stone brick. So I've got that to the outside, and then this is where hopefully um, this works out. So I'm gonna have this going round like this, and it's just gonna go round the whole building. It's gonna go around to this side, and it should lock into what we've placed there. It'll come round here and join in to our other roof here. And then we're gonna go up by one and just start bringing this round now. So bring this round. I've forgotten how many times I'm gonna to need to do this, um, but I'll just kinda of take it by sight. So this should go over here and it should just go past there. Now what you can do is you can just kind of um, turn that into a flat one like that, just makes it a little bit easier that side. Bring this round, it should lock into there. And I think I'm gonna do it three times, but what I'm gonna do first before I start doing it, um, because I'm gonna have that up like that. I'm gonna find the center. So I'll go like this. That's the center of that one. That's the center of this one. And then we find our center. Hopefully, if I've done that correctly. I've just kind of done that by sight. I'm hoping that's right. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Perfect. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, you play this enough and you kind of, um, you can kind of just look at things and be like, right, that's that's where it is. Um, so for this bit, um, this is where we're gonna have this tower that's kind of on top. So we've got three, is it five even? Now before you start placing any blocks, just be careful. Because I'm just gonna one, three, four, five, and then diagonal by one, two, three, and then one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, one, two, three, four, five. Now, let me see. That is not directly in the middle, is it? So we're gonna have to budge that up by an extra one. So now we know. Okay, so now when I start doing it, we're gonna start from here. So it'd be a one gap there. We're gonna have five here. So we should have a middle one, two at the side. That's directly in there. So five and then one, two, three diagonal. And then one, two, three, four, five. Another three diagonal. And one, two, three, four. Wait, is that correct? I'm gonna have to budget up another one. <sighs> that's two gaps. That's oh no, that's correct. It's correct. It's okay. It's okay. It's just because I got that block there. So that should be five, and then three gaps. Five. You get the idea. Three. And one, two, three, four, five. Three. Like that. So that should be, if my calculations are correct, directly in the middle. Perfect. And um, so now what we can do is bring this up by an extra two. Like this. And then we can start feeding the other roof round until it slots in with this. So that's how we do it. Like that. So as you can see, we can now take this roof and just keep folding it round until it slots in to the other roof. And then we have got our perfect roof that's um, connected it all together. Clever, huh? And then let's bring this round. And obviously we're gonna have to do it one more time. Um, but yeah. Right, let's go like this. I'd love to do even longer videos, um, but I kind of, uh, I like doing them fast, to be honest. I like doing the fast ones where I can kind of build offline, do my own thing, grab myself a nice cup of coffee, listen to some music, and just build away, be in my own world. And then after, I can just use the replay mod and and then just, yeah, kind of just do a fast version so 
people can um, do their own thing. Because block for blocks, after a while, um, they, they just, I don't know, it feels, it feels like it's not worth it, do you know what I mean? It feels like it's not worth putting that extra time and effort in when the channel's not doing very well, when I could be just building offline, be less stressed about it, and then probably come up with better builds. If, if they were getting huge uh, views, which is important at the end of the day because that's how I make my living, I quit my job to do this. So um, if people say they're not bothered about the views and it's their living, then they're lying to you. It, it is, it's very important, but at the same time, I'm doing what I love, so I can't complain, but um, I kind of, I want to carry on doing what I love, if you know what I mean, so if I'm getting the views, I don't have to worry about anything else, I don't have to worry about money, I don't have to worry about things like that, and then I just get to enjoy uh, doing what I'm doing, um, so it's kind of a bit of a catch-22 really, um, okay, so we've got this, one, two, three, four. So five high, right, okay, so I'm gonna try and do this. So it's one, two, three. We're gonna have this. So we're gonna have a two window and then this going across the top like this. So one, two, three, four for these corner bits, one, two, three, four. And then we're gonna have two diagonal down like that. So we've got our windows at that height. So one, two, three, four. You can put that up to four and then just remove the bottom two like that if it makes it easier. Bring this up and around and we're just gonna do exactly the same thing. I tried to give it kind of a circular hexagon kind of uh, shape for this. I just thought it'd work out quite cool for a tower on top. And I guess you can put like a cross on top if you want to turn it into a church or something like that. So it's kind of a bit of a two-in-one build, but I kind of, at the same time, wanted it to be more survival. So as you can see, we've got that, and then we can start filling in. Hmm. If I can remember, that's, that's the thing. Um, I'm gonna grab this. Now, either side of these, we're gonna have three like this three like this and then we're gonna have spruce slabs going across the top and the bottom like that and then for these side corners just two like that and then we're gonna have them facing in like this so as you can see we've got that sort of oh sh sugar lumps almost <laughs> yeah, that went good um so we've got that and i think these are supposed to be two height but i've done them three height and that's a one height and it doesn't matter, I'm gonna keep it like that because um, I think it looks all right anyway. So yeah, so this two height window and the three height window like this and then we can fill in things after. So yeah, I'll just do it a little bit faster. So you can pause the video and get it all done. This is how I normally build if I'm on my own. I'm just like this. Right, next. Next. like a speeding racehorse because I don't want to speed it up too much I kind of want to keep it a fairly okay length and then people will see an okay length video and then I don't know anymore to be honest I'm just I just talk until things come out of my mouth uh, that make sense I don't know if anybody can relate to that um, but when I'm doing these videos that's what it feels like cause it's, I don't know what else to say um, so windows, you can use whatever glass you like. I'm going to use the white glass. Um, now we're using the blocks for the corner. If I can get them, corner like that. So each of the corners, we can have the full block, full bloke, and then um, I need a coffee so bad, man. Uh, I'm going to be honest with you. Um, let's get these filled in with the pane glass like this why is that a two window and the rest of them are free jesus right just do it one higher problem fixed 
problem solved. Like that. Have we got the windows in this one now? Have we got them in that? Right, okay, so we've got that, and then we can work on this roof. Um, so I'm going to do this one higher then, since I'm, I've got the roof like that. So build this one higher. Hopefully I can remember what I actually did for the for the roof, because um, I kind of just freestyled that one. I just kind of went with it. Um, so yeah, I'm going to try. Okay, so here we go. I don't know what I'm doing. Um, one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three. Four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, eight. Only joking, it's still four. One, two, three, four, five, one, two, three, four, like that. And then we're going to place one, two, three, four, five across the diagonal. It should be perfect, like that. One, two, three, four, five, diagonal. We're starting at the edge of that. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, like that. And then we're going to get our half slab of the stone. One, two, three, four, five. And we're just going to follow exactly the same pattern as what we've done with the birch. Like this. Like that. So it should look like that. Perfect. Looking nice. And I think what I did for this bit, I counted one, two, three, and then one. One, two, three, one. With the half slab. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one. And then, what did I do? Um, full blocks, maybe? I don't know. It's, it's, a, it's a guessing game. One, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. In each of the corner. Corners, even. Um, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two, one, two. Don't know what's happening there. My blocks are having a midlife crisis. A bit like me. And then get that across there and then next stage we go across like this so just join them all together just cross them okay so the next stage I think we're gonna count one two three and then one maybe 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 not maybe two maybe two and then one like that no that looks too high yeah so one two three and then one one two three one making sure you're directly in the middle one two three one one two three one this is quite high and then we're going to count from this one two three four five six seven and it should block like that same from this corner one two three four five six seven like you're kind of making a square one two three four five six seven one two three four five six seven and we should have something shaped like this and then one, two, three, one, two, three, one. Is that correct? Maybe an extra three, because that looks like it's got more than two gaps. I'll just at least have a look, okay? So one, two, yeah. There's two above and then one, right, okay? So one, two, three, like that. Okay, so basically one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one. One two three, one two three, one two three one. One two three, one two three, one two three one. And then in the corners here, let's go like that. Put one in each of these corners like this. And then we're gonna count one two, 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 one two. One, two, one, two. Bring them up to the same height as that. One more left. One, two, one, two. Extra one, two on it. And then <coughs> we'll square it again. So one, two, three, four, five this time. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Like this. Maybe put one here. It's going to be a little different to the roof I've done, but you know what? I'll put an extra one. So two high altogether in each of the corners, like that. And then this one's going to be one, two, three, one, two, three, one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. One, two, three. One, two, three, one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one. And then we're going to one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. One, one, two, three. Let's just ha have a look how it's progressing. That's looking all right. And then I think I'm just going to have to square it off again. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. 
one, two, three, four, five. And then this time it's going to be one, two, three, one, two, three, one, one. 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 And then from the inside, one. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Fill this bit in like this, and then we're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. One, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. <laughs> See what I mean? It's looking all right. Looking all right, mate. And uh, yeah, looks fairly plain actually. Um, something like that and then we're gonna have the other roofs coming up I'm gonna have a little break um, just so I come back a little bit more lively um, and then we're gonna have these things coming out from the side of it as well there's plenty more to be done see you in a minute yeah and I'm back I've had my coffee so uh, yeah this is what I'm gonna do now as you can see we're gonna fill this bit in like this uh, basically going to do this for each one like this I will basically do one side and then you're just going to repeat it for the other side as well so it would be super super easy so in fact I'm just going to do one one of these and then you can repeat for all of those and all of those at that side as well and then we can move on and um, so one two three one two three one two three one two three like that add an extra one and we're just gonna make a square it's three by three on top like that so once we've done that um, I'm gonna bring these up like this and I'm gonna put some half slab like this and then we are going to grab a couple of the cobblestone walls I'm gonna place a cobblestone wall and then we're gonna go one, two, like this, one, two. In fact, we'll just put one, one like this. And then we are going to grab our stairs and we're just gonna fold it round like this. So we're kind of making like little chimney kind of things. And then we can just place one in the middle and grab our stone slab, place it on top like that. And then what we can do is we can remove like blocks like this. This is to add more detail. Just something like that, do you know what I mean? It like adds so much to the build. Uh, but if you want to keep on playing like that, you can. So I'm going to repeat that process for each one of those going along like that. And uh, what you can do also, if you, you kind of want it to light up, you can get some glowstone and put it directly in the middle there or something like that. Uh, just to make it look a little bit better but what I'm going to do I'm gonna get some bushes around uh, this area as well I mean we can bring this to um, yeah that's all right there yeah so I'm gonna do this repeat it for all four of those and all five of those so yeah I'll come back once I've done it so in a minute I've added way more detail into the build I've got those up like that on both sides so it looks pretty awesome if you ask me and then we can work on this little bit so exactly what we've done here I think that's probably best to do this so we've got two of those stacks there and then height wise that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so yeah I'm gonna bring those up by ten altogether so that's one two three four five six seven eight nine ten so I'll do one side the other side is going to be exactly the same anyway and um, so I can speed that bit up as well because it's not really necessary it's just copying what we're doing here so this going across like this like this like this and then we're gonna fill that up by two fill this up by two and then two here, two here, and then um, like we did at the other thing with the stairs, put the stairs along maybe a stair there, a stair there this time. Could do something like that. And then this stair on the inside like this. 
to this point I think it'd be perfectly fine and then we've just got the the one here that we can have to fill this in like that and then of course fill this bit in and then we've got our doorway to put as well and so you can decide how you want to put your doorways if you don't want a doorway there you don't have to if you want to put a doorway there you can that's pretty basic right so we find the center like we did the other one we can maybe go around like this and then just do what we've done with the other one I guess something like this you know and then if you want in windows in maybe you want some windows going up here four high or something like that and you want some windows going if you want all these windows joined together like that you could do something like that uh, like we did with the other thing so we just put the block here grab the half slab going round it's maybe a bit different this one but oh well see you can do it like that as well or you could just have like this and just have the two windows there so you can change it about a bit to your liking um, it doesn't really make much of a difference to the build don't really make it um, look too different really so yeah and then you can put your doors on maybe put this across the top and you can put three doors or if you just want one door you can have one door you get the idea um, let's see let's at least fill these windows in four height for that one four height for this one and then we just got these two here and so yeah let's do this roof let's put this roof on from here to here you see what I mean like um, even though it's blank plain walls as soon as we've got this roof on it's not really gonna matter um, so I'm gonna do the same stack thing like this bring it up same with this one bring this one up as well um, but I think because it's got quite a lot of stone in it we can hide quite a lot of that stone with bushes and stuff like that and I think the greenery and things will make it come together quite nicely hopefully um, I'm optimistic let's see right okay so one two three four five one two three four okay slash slash stack Four, right and then do the same here but four left so you can pause the video get that done left like that perfect and then um, we do exactly the same so we bring this across like that find our centerpiece bring it to the top and then every other one like this and then like we did with the other one you can either fill it in or you can have these bars going across the top where you could have an entrance out here or you could put glass down there as well so it's kind of still open plan like that so yeah and um, what you can do as well if you want in like a bit of an archway just to make it look a little bit more different you can maybe put some archways here as well just to give it a little bit of something 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 and then um, we can grab our blocks like this and just do something like this you know so we've got our little um, walkways there uh, let's just change the time so I it. time set 1000 and um, because I've got shaders on I can't actually do what people keep telling me to do that I should do um, I've forgotten what they said um, night set mode on all the time I can't do that because when you've got shaders on for some reason it doesn't let you do that so we could have windows like this here's an example so if you would want in windows there and maybe you want to take out some windows here you can do them the same height so it's kind of the same height as that one two three four like that 
and then one, two, three, four, five high, like this. Super simple um, window design. The same here, one, two, three, four. You can even extend this one, put extra ones here, like that. So there you go. And I'm just going to repeat this process that I've done here on the other side. Now I'll show you what it looks like if we put these underneath here, just to give you a little example of how it might look a little bit different by putting those on. As you can see, I think that looks way better. So if you want to do that, I'm going to do that for this one as well. Like that. So it's just putting stairs under basically, underneath each one. Yeah, it looks all right. And then uh, we can do the same as what we've done with the other one. So one, two, stairs, one, one, two, like that. And then we can put our little archways here. We could even do a one, two for this one because it's a little bit different. A little bit different at this side. Just kind of uh, makes it all right. So we can do the same one, two, one, 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 two, like that. We've got our nice little archways looking nice just looking beautiful so and um, now I'm gonna repeat exactly what I've done but yeah so for this one here and um, how about this we just keep it like this and um, but we have this going around and we can lock it into place here and just have this going across the top and then we can have this layer going around something a little bit different and then we can have this bit from this point here. Will it go across the line? That's perfect. It's just on the line. So if you're working within the lines, it should work out perfectly for you. And take that one out and that should do that under there. Get that filled in there. And then you can do the same. You can take out like holes or you could make it going all the way down to the bottom like that something a little bit different and then for the windows um, you can do exactly the same windows one two three four five maybe for this one directly in the middle one two three four five so we should have two gaps at that side three gaps at that side yeah three gaps here and then for this one just so it looks a little less plain you can do something like this and then do exactly the same as what we've done with um, the top windows where we've grabbed some of the wooden trap doors and just filled them in across here just makes them look a little bit better a little bit more all right so I kind of like that I like how um, it's got some plain areas on the build and then of course we've got the windows to fill in there's quite a few windows we still left to fill in and um, see as the white panes but depending on what paint you're using, of course, you're going to change it up. So we've got those windows in here. I think I'm just going to go around and fill all the windows in ready. Um, so we've got these windows. So basically, I'm going to copy exactly what I've done here on the other side. And of course, fill in all the windows on the other side as well. So I'm just going to at least get this side done and the two front sides while you guys are here. And then um, basically, yeah, so fill all those windows in. And then exactly uh, what we've done on the other side, we're going to do on this side. So I'm just going to copy and paste it just to make life a little bit easier. So from there to, I think it'll be about this height here. This should work, hopefully. Um, so I'm going to go here. Slash copy, copy, and then rotate 180. So I'm going to have to put a block directly in the middle here and just stand on this. And hopefully, this should have worked. Boom. Did it work? Yes, it did. So there you go. There you go. And then um, basically, you can do whatever you like um, for, um, I don't know, say if you, you don't like how much there's a gap there, you could have this going all the way around and it kind of fits into that roof, but it just kind of cuts up a little. So it looks less plain. So that's added something as well. If you wanted to do something like this as well, 
do it like this bring it round like this and then you've got these areas here where you could probably put something like this you could put a full block here full block here and then get your in fact we'll just do it with this so like a block like that this is kind of like I don't know a back balcony of some form so you can kind of get through there maybe if you put a space on or whatever and um, let's let's go like this let's get our full blocks in at the very least so we've got like a little balcony here and you could do something like this and then add your cobblestone and then we can grab some fence and just bring it so it just touches the top like this and then you can just put a little railing on there perfect and if you want you could always have like um, even though it's a bit weird um, you could just have like a water source coming down from here that's just collected in this little area here and um, so let's let's do this turn it into all blocks like that and then it just makes life easy when we place our water source in there should come down and land it in there perfectly perfect I don't know the reason for this um, I'll have you know but there we go something like this you know and then you can get down I think that's a cool entrance and, and a way in and out something to think about you can put that across there so as you can see we've got like that back balcony there and if you're wanting to add like something a little bit extra you can put some kind of posts coming through here so um, a little example I'll just quickly show you and um, if you're wanting to start adding to it I don't know if this would work but it's worth a try eh so like put these down the sides and stuff like that I'll just give it a try and then you can kind of see what it looks like so yeah you can add that to it or you can put your normal post but I'm just gonna keep it fairly the same but you uh, you get the idea I'm trying to give you a, a few little um, things where you can expand on it at a later date and um, maybe add some more to it so let's have a look around the building we need our bushes and stuff just to make it look trim uh, same with here if you want to connect this here get this part of the roof and then connect it into that part of the roof just so it kind of uh, bends around like the rest of them same with here as well because since though we've put it underneath those windowsills it just makes sense to uh, carry it on and um, so bush wise right so this is where it'll kind of make it all makes sense right so we put two lots of bushes here and put one or we can put two lots of bushes up to this point and then one underneath here put two here so it kind of fits in or you can make them messy it doesn't have to be as neat and tidy as this like that that's looking nice you can obviously expand it a little bit more with the bush you can add gardens around it trees and stuff which will make it just work a little bit better I'd say so like this I'll show you what I mean and then uh, you kind of get a good idea of what I'm trying to achieve like that that's looking nice very nice and then we can obviously add bushes on the top layer if you think it's too plain you can add like little windowsills and stuff like that you can have that come into there and that could just stop at these bits you know too high one high obviously underneath this window silk is not going to be able to get up and under so it hides a lot of that brick let's change the time again very very nice even just silly kind of like hanging bushes like this can split a build up like that do you know what I mean and then what you can do is you can put another one underneath here so it's kind of like held on it's kind of like bushes 
holding it together. And it just gives it a bit of colour as well. And plus, that roof joins into there. So we've got bushes there. You can have like bushes around your balcony and just little daft silly bits here and there that all kind of pull it together. You can have like big large bushes with um, maybe anvils on these side bits. Have something like that. Put them up as high as you like. And um, let's see. Let's have a look. Same with this. You could just ha have just like small bushes. Just something like that, you know. Just cover it up. Nice little areas that you feel will work. And then you can have pots, plants, and things like that. I've just put it just above that window level. Like that. Door wise, um, I think the spruce door might work quite well. Spruce door, there we go. Very nice. There's so much detail um, that you can add to this. And there's a lot of space in here. I'd love to see how you guys do it. Like that bit there, you can remove that. It doesn't have to be there. That was mostly to kind of show you guys. But I'd love to see what you create and come up with for this sort of build. Um, but I don't want to do the interiors, to be honest, if I'm honest with you. Because, um, yeah. I just, I like seeing what you guys come up with. And plus, I'm lazy. Um, right, so... On top of here, as you can see, it's quite um, stony. So you can add like little bits like this, for example, if you don't like how stony it is. You could then, from the middle of these points here, oh, I'm falling through here, like add this going through like it's part of it. Going to the top and then Maybe we could have the slab going over the top and down here because it will all fit in together like that. I'll just show you what it kind of looks like and then you can kind of take a look, see if you like it. And then you can add it and implement it at a later date if you do enjoy it. So like that, as you can see, just kind of simple. And same with this as well. If you if you want in like it here, you could add the edges of the spruce or you could just have it full spruce and then um, yeah something like that so I'm just gonna go around and show you different kind of combinations that you can add at a later date or you can decide if you like it in fact or not so like underneath here as well add in your stairs for that extra little bit can be quite awkward these these ones but you, you get the idea you kind of get the idea of it what I'm going for there 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 and there so you see what I mean it's kind of cut it up I think that looks all right looks not too bad same with here as well we can do exactly the same so just moving on down And of course, we don't have to do it the other side because the other side's into the other box and then we've got the half slab for that bit. Same with here as well, if you want to do it for the front of that as well. Maybe if you wanted to just kind of go like this. Get that to there. Same with this one. So it just kind of peaks the roof off. And then we can go like this. Luckily, we've got stairs underneath. It just makes it way easier. Like this, going all the way down. I hope uh, people understand what I'm doing. I'm not saying that I'm going wrong and then I'm changing it. I'm just kind of giving you different ideas. I, I think it looks nice both ways. Um, but you see what I mean? Like how much that has added to it. And then same with here, if you don't like that sort of block, maybe, then you could do something like this. Do you see what I mean? Like how um, 
just changing a few blocks here and there can change up your build. So you've got something like that. You could add those going across. So, um, well, I'm going to try this. Slash ash copy. Let's go to here. Slash ash paste. So we can go along and just um, copy and paste all of them and then you get a good idea of what you like best. And there we go. So there. That's changed it up a bit as well. So many different things you can do. I really like actually it that way, so I'm gonna I'm gonna do it for this side as well. So slash slash rotate 180. And then hopefully this pastes on. Perfect. Um, I wonder what else we can do. I'd love to see um, what floor plans you do. But obviously if you're in survival, you're going to have your own survival things. You'll have a plan of what you're, you're wanting to achieve with it. But something like that, you see what I mean? Like, even if you want in, like, um, to add something like that as well, just across the bottom. You see how like just little changes you've changed the build in like loads of different ways like this so now we've got that perfect I'm liking that as well and even if you want you could do something like this as well you could add some stairs and um, if you want it to kind of branch out of there like this so you've got little seating areas so people can sit down outside there. Perfect. And then you could add like little details in here. Maybe you put them this way around or something like that. Now you, you get the idea. You've got so many different options. I'm going to do it for this side as well. So we'll get these underneath here. So many different types of details that you can add to it um, to make it different and you can change the blocks completely as well so they don't have to just be like this they can be uh, whichever way you choose I really need to update to um, I think 1.13 is it out now I just I keep up with all 1.13 I need to update to that maybe so I can do some more stuff like on here as well if you wanted to change these roof bits up let's see how this would work out um, we need kind of a hair slab down to it like that and then maybe you could have instead of that slab you could have this here as well let's have a look how this looks as a full thing yes yes i like it I like it a lot and then you could maybe put a stair like this to add a bit more detail into it something like that so yeah i'm gonna copy and paste that bit as well why not there and then slash copy let's see if this copy is okay um paste there we go and then you can change these up so I'm gonna paste it for those as well and um, but yeah let me know what you think to um, this build and if it's something that you kind of like I know it's a little bit different but I thought I like doing things that are a little bit um, more quirky and different and stand out and um, I'm wanting to do more of that sort of stuff so um, when people come here they're like they get something a little bit different you know instead of just the box standard um, kind of normal builds you've got something a little bit more um, out there I've done some futuristic builds and stuff like that but um, it's just tagging them um, I know if people saw them they'd want to build them but um, I have to like sometimes you have to name things um, you know something a little bit different and you get a lot of hate for it but at the end of the day those people um, they've got something to build haven't they something different um, so if you do a futuristic house, maybe people are just looking for houses, but they're, you know, they just don't know what they want. But you, now you've shown them, you know. So you could go 
like this and then oh sh no don't do that and uh, I'm gonna grab this so it just kind of connects onto there so it like, goes into that little bit it's all right I could add that little bit whereabouts did I do it yeah there we go there and then we can grab this stuff and what we can do is we can maybe slab it underneath and it just kind of um, we're taking away that stone sort of feeling so it adds more to it so you can end it there or you can bring that across and then put this here oh no so we can get rid of that one bring that across turn it into a full one and just wrap it round it just gives it um, a different feel and then of course I've got that little bit of the roof that I forgot so I will do that in a minute so yeah we get our slab stone slab and across the top I wonder if I did it at the other side as well yeah that's why then that's why when I copy and pasted it over so yeah you, you see what I mean like you can keep adding to stuff say if you wanted um, this going across the top because she felt there's too much stone add another one going across here same with here as well instead of the stone you could then add spruce and I think that might make a difference there we go I like that and um, you could have this leading up to here for no reason whatsoever just so it kind of connects into there like that but as you can see it's pretty cool it's pretty cool pretty damn cool so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video make sure you slap a huge like on it I don't know what I'm gonna call it just the ultimate survival house or something like that I think that would be rather fitting and then you can add your own details like you can put little pots and plants on there and stuff like that and um, if you would like I don't know how I'm gonna take a picture of this um, do you guys want to build this massive structure it just doesn't give it justice does it um, but there you go guys, I shall catch you in the next video. Almost Addicted, signing out. This is me, yes, hello. Pleased to meet you. Uh, if you've just come across my channel and decided to subscribe and uh, show some support, then I appreciate you. And if you've been here here for the whole time, I appreciate you just as much, if not more, because you've been here longer. But uh, you guys can catch up. So yeah, I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Peace out.